Hello everyone, this is Movie Game Lover 98, and today I'll be doing a video where I show off one of my GameCube games that I finally have a case for. And it's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So yeah, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, I finally have a case for my Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire game for the GameCube. Because this is what it really looks like on all console versions. Yeah, I finally have a case for it. Because I remember getting it from Goodwill, but it didn't have a case. But now I found a cased version at Disc Replay. Yeah, it looks the same as my disc. That came just in the jewel case, but now I'm going to get rid of that copy because now I have it in the case. And this one should still work just like my old copy because, you know, Disc Replay resurfaces their discs when you purchase games from Disc Replay. Like disc-based games, like, you know, Xbox games, GameCube games, Wii games, Wii U games, and PS2 games. Yeah, PlayStation games as well. Yeah, it also has the manual and precautions booklet. So yeah. I'm so happy to have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire GameCube game with the case finally. Because I don't like having games in jewel cases. Especially those tiny GameCube discs, because I can end up scratching them by accident. But this is one of them that I finally found cased at Disc Replay. The other three I'm now trying to fix now are Donkey Konga, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, I think that's the name, and the first Spider-Man, the first Samurai Spider-Man from 2002. So yeah. I'm so happy to finally have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire on, for the GameCube in the case. So yeah, that's all I had to show for this video everyone, so see you guys next time. This is Movie and Game Lover 98 signing off, and have a great time everyone. Be safe out there as always, and like the video as always, and be sure to leave me feedback, and I'll comment back to you as well.